Hello, and thank you for joining me for this presentation on how HLA typing can make all the difference. So what do we mean when we talk about HLA? HLA is the abbreviation for human leukocyte antigen, a series of genes located on chromosome 6. And the role of HLA is to present peptides on the cell surface to T cells. Class 1 HLA presents peptides to CD8 T cells, and class 2 HLA presents peptides to CD CD4 T cells. There are a large number of HLA variants across the human population, and small changes in the molecules result in functional differences between different HLA types, including the repertoire of peptides each is able to bind. Therefore, there is a set nomenclature used to identify HLA types. So at the bottom of the screen, we have an example of the HLA type at the HLA A locus. The first set of digits after the asterisk, here O2, refers to the allele group. Historically, this was the level of accuracy available by using serotyping of HLA, so using antibodies. Different variants within this group will have different peptide binding properties. The second set of digits here, O1, indicate the protein sequence that is expressed in the peptide binding regions of the HLA. As these first two sets of digits are often four digits, for example here, O2, O1, this is often referred to as a four digit resolution. And this is all you need to know to understand the functional impact of the HLA in most cases. The final two sets of digits, here shown in paler blue, correspond to changes at the DNA level within the coding region or in the non-coding region of the HLA gene. If there are two individuals with the same four-digit type, but differences after this level, then they will be functionally the same, with rare exceptions. So why is it important to know the HLA type of patient or donor samples? Well, firstly, many diseases are known to be associated with HLA type. For some diseases, the incidence is increased in individuals with a particular HLA type, Examples of these associations include type 1 diabetes, DRB10401, rheumatoid arthritis, DRB11501, and multiple sclerosis, DRB10101 and DRB10401. Likewise, the progression of some diseases is linked to HLA type. In HIV, B5701 is associated with protection against the disease, and B3501 with faster degrees disease progression. So it is important to understand the HLA association when developing therapies or carrying out research and to, to be sure that the correct donors are being included in studies. The effectiveness of therapeutics can also be dramatically affected by the HLA type of patients. This can be the case for any therapeutic that interacts with HLA. For example, anti-HIV small molecule drug abacavir can cause adverse reactions in patients that carry B5701. This is also true for therapeutic proteins. Any protein or peptide-based therapeutic has the potential to cause unwanted immunogenicity, and in order to understand this, the HLA types of patients in trials should be known. Because of these risks, FDA guidelines specifically suggest inclusion of HLA mapping studies in order to help to define whether a subset of the patient population is at increased risk. Another benefit of HLA typing is that stratifying trial data may allow you to detect previously undetected successes or potential liabilities in a trial, and this can mean the difference between a novel therapeutic succeeding or failing. If you are working on any epitope-specific immune responses, for example, stimulating with peptides, developing T-cell vaccines, or using MHC multimers to track responses, then the HLA types of donors should be known before carrying out experiments. Finally, cell lines can also be HLA typed. It is important to verify that the cells you are working on are what they are expected to be, as cross-contamination and misidentification can occur. And so HLA typing is a good way to verify that the cell line you're working on is what you think it is. This information is also often requested by journals when it comes to publishing results. Proimmune offers a straightforward and dependable tissue typing service using the most up-to-date genotyping technologies. Next Generation Sequencing, NGS, directly sequences the HLA genes to provide HLA type to four-digit allelic level or better, and this is available as a class 1 panel incorporating HLA A, B and C, and a class 2 panel incorporating HLA DRB1, DPB1 and DQB1, and both panels can be ordered together. PCR SSOP, uh, which stands for uh, Sequence Specific Oligonucleotide Probes used to um, bind to PCR products, use Luminex labelled oligonucleotides, which bind to the PCR products of the HLA gene of interest, and the unique binding reactivities of the panel determines the HLA type. This technique resolves the HLA type to four digits, but with degeneracy in some cases, and PCR SSOP typing can be ordered on a per locus basis. Samples can be, be provided in various formats, including genomic DNA, PBMCs, cell lines, blood and saliva. Turnaround is typically three weeks from receipt of samples to provision of the report, 
and reports are delivered by secure electronic delivery in XLS and PDF formats. As mentioned before, we offer two levels of typing, NGS for precise four digit resolution and PCR SSOP. Ordering is easy. You just need to request a rotation from ProImmune, place the order, and once this is processed, you'll be sent shipping instructions. Submit the samples for analysis using the shipping labels provided, and the report will be available for download from the ProImmune secure server once the analysis is complete. If you have any questions on our, on our tissue typing service, or you would like to have a quote for the service, please feel free to contact ProImmune using the details shown here. Thank you.